Hi, welcome to Video Joomla Tutorials. And today we're going to dis um, we're going to work on the host file, and it's not specifically a Joomla topic, but it is a very important topic. And essentially, your host file um, can determine where your computer thinks an IP address is for a particular website. And this is often very useful when you have something like a website that's already out there that's live, but you're building a new version of the website and yourself and your client would like to see the, the website from time to time. So let's talk about how to make this happen in Windows Vista. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is um, We'll click on the programs open here and we'll go to um, Notepad. Notepad is a simple text editor that can change the host file. We'll right click on it because what we need to do is we need to run it as an administrator. Next we're going to go to the file button right here on the top of Notepad and you're going to go to open and now what we need to do is find the Windows file or Windows folder and right here here's the Windows folder now what we're looking for is the system 32 folder in Windows and that's right here okay now once we found that we need to find one called drivers right here drivers okay and then finally we need to find one called etc now in etc the host file resides but you can't see it here and that's because it's only letting you see text documents what we need to do is say show me all files so we have this drop down box right here all files and boom there it is the host folder or the host file. You click on the host file and then what you have here is you have a set of IP addresses and a set of websites and you can add an, uh, a website to this by putting the IP address right here of where the website version that you want people to see is um, is at and then you put the website address now what I recommend that you do is that you do both the www and without that version so that the computer doesn't get confused sometimes when people type in your web address they type in www sometimes they don't and you need to account for both um, also if let's say this agreeingmarketing.com website which um, I have in a particular server and it and has another version on the World Wide Web if I want to see the World Wide Web version what I do is I click my cursor in there and I put a pound sign and then what that will do is it negates that line so it's a very easy way to um, work on your websites this way and um, I think it's very va valuable as a web developer especially when sometimes you're building new versions of websites and the old ones are online now when you're completed with this what you're going to do is you're going to go to file and save and then your actions are complete you're all set thanks for watching our tutorial